inside the Mountain West Network studio. I'm Bridget Howard alongside Jesse Kurtz, and we will now head out to our final stop of Mountain West Women's Basketball Media Days. We'll head on out to Logan, Utah, and bring in the head coach of the Aggies, Kayla Arn. Coach, it's great to see you. How are things going? Hey, guys. It's good to see you guys, too. Things are going great. Looking forward to a new season. Um, thank you guys for having us today. Absolutely. Well, you're entering your third season up in Logan. What can we expect to see from you and your Aggies this fall? Well, we're working on a lot of defense. You know, we haven't been very good um, defensively, so we've we've made that a main focus for us. I uh, didn't think I would do that as a head coach, but once you go through the Mountain West two years, you realize you need to defend in this conference. So we're working on a lot of defense, um, focusing on chemistry quite a bit. We have a lot of new faces um, on the staff and on the team. So a lot of team bonding, trying to have some fun, um, and uh, just trying to grow every day. We're working on that, and, and I think we are doing that. So we're excited. Um, I think we have a, a group with a lot of energy. Our culture is really, really strong right now, so we want to keep building on that. So um, just want to keep going in a positive direction. I think we've done that since we got here, so we just want to keep doing that, whatever that looks like. Uh, I can tell you what I hope it looks like, but uh, we're going to wait and see what happens when the season starts. Just a reminder to our media members that we welcome your participation. If you've got a question for Coach Art, please make sure to raise your hand to enter the queue. Coach, you bring back two returners this year in Kinley and Olivia. What excites you about the way that they've continued to develop this offseason and the leadership that they can bring to this team this year? Yeah, you know, can't say enough about either one of those young ladies. Kinley's been here with me since I got here, obviously. So love her. We uh, she, she was one of our captains last year. She is one of our captains again this year. So really happy to have her. She does all the little things right. Obviously, she's a really good shooter. So excited to see her get back out there and Liv, um, she's grown so much in her game. You know, she got injured toward the end of the season last year and wasn't able to play a whole lot in the Mountain West, but she was one of our go-to players early on in the season. So we're excited to have her back. She's a huge defender for us, huge energy player for us, and just get the same thing out of her every day. Her effort is the same every single day. So I'm um, really happy to have both of those young ladies back and, and then surround them with the players that we brought in. And those players that you brought in. You brought in a couple of transfers. Can you give us a rundown of the transfers that you did bring in and, and what you're looking forward to seeing out of them this year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think when you bring in um, basically a new team, which which we did, um, I don't know that many people get that opportunity after they've been a head coach for two years to kind of get a clean slate to start over again. You know, for me, been a huge learning experience for two years going through the Mountain West, learning a lot as, as a first time head coach. And so I felt really lucky to kind of get to start over again, um, to be completely honest. And so um, these kids that we've brought in are they're fun. They're fun to be around. That's that's the first thing I think of when I think of them. We got some really good talent. Some of them have surprised me. You know, I recruited them, so obviously I thought they were good enough to help us. But some of them have really surprised me with their talent level and just the way that they've all came together with their team bonding, with their um, chemistry on and off the court. They're just a great group of kids. We don't we don't have drama. We don't I don't want to say we don't have problems. Everybody has problems, of course, but we just they're just fun. We're having a good time with them, with our staff, with the team. But uh, if you want to break down anybody um, specific, I'm happy to talk about any of those transfers coming in specifically. If you guys have anybody that you'd like to discuss, I'm happy to talk about them. Well, we'll get to hear in a little bit from Christina Oliva. Um, sophomore from Sierra College. Um, what does she bring to this group? Yeah, Chris Oliva is is a huge score for us. We were really lucky to get her. She was a late sign for us. And uh, again, another kid we named a captain. Great kid. She uh, she got that chip on her shoulder. She definitely knows how to score the ball on all three levels. And um, she can get steals on the other end. She um, smart, fun, good teammate easy to coach, wants to be coached. So she brings a lot, a lot to us, uh, especially offensively and leadership wise. She's a great kid for us in the locker room, on the court, off the court. Um, I know she has my back. I know she trusts me. That's a great feeling to have as a head coach. And, and she gets that in return from me. So we have a really good relationship. So um, I'm excited to see what she can do out there on the court this year. She had a great year at her junior college. And I think she's going to carry that over, over here to Utah State for us. We've got a question for you from Patrick Mayhorn from the Ag Ship. Ask about Maria uh, and how she relates specifically to these defensive improvements that you're working on. Obviously, she has quite the reputation. What have you seen from her in the backcourt and sort of leading the defense? She's <laughs> – we have a nickname for her. Um, I'll keep it to myself. But she's unbelievable on defense. Probably one of the best on-ball defenders I've ever seen before. Her speed, her quickness. 
I thought she was a huge get for us. Uh, we knew that when we got her, we were super excited to get her. And we need that. We need that spark defensively. Uh, we're going to go as she goes. She's our engine. We will go as she goes. And she goes pretty fast. So we're really excited about her effort, her energy. She brings it when she's on the court. She brings it when she's on the sideline. She brings it when she's in the film room, when she's in the locker room. I, I don't know how she is off the court. You could ask Chris about that. But she's uh, she, she's just an energy giver every single day, same person every single day. So she's a big leader for us. And um, like I said, we go as she goes. And she's going at a very high clip and a very high pace. So I love the way she gets us started every day. We have time for follow-up questions. Should you so choose, uh, Coach, to, to follow up with, with Maria, uh, being an all WAC player, uh, now a graduate student, uh, her having been around the game and played at a high level, as you talked about, how much does that help you to have someone who has all of that experience as someone that you can lead on, lean upon and as a graduate student? There's a lot of leadership there that's innately built. Yeah, and that's what I meant when I said I don't know many people that get this chance because what you want to do is get – to a point where you have all this leadership, right? All these kids that have all this experience. And yes, it's Maria, but we also have Abby and Mason and Prima and oh, all these kids that are all fifth years. So we have a lot of maturity out there. And like you said, you know, she was a very, very good player in the WAC, Maria was. And we have a lot of those. We have a lot of kids that have um, accolades from their conferences that they were in. And so there's a lot of maturity out there. There's a lot of IQ out there um, that they coach a lot of the stuff before we even have time to fix it. They fix it. So it's it's fun to watch them out there and um, see how smart they are and, and see how educated they are in the game of basketball with their experience that they've had. And then to mix the younger players in with them, it's it's just really fun to watch them. Um, out on the court every day and, and watch that. So we have a lot of experience that definitely, like I said, starts with Maria, but we have several fifth year kids that are definitely going to contribute this year that are going to be out there a lot for us. Um, you guys, I think, are going to be saying their names quite a bit. So we're excited to have all those girls. Maria Robinson, how does she fit into that equation for you? Yeah, she's um she's really, really athletic, uh, very good on both ends of the ball. Again, another really, really good scorer. She can score all three levels. Very hard to stop um, if you're a defender. And she's also one of our best defenders. So, um, you know, she's got a knack for getting steals, for heating up the the um, ball handler. And, and uh, you know, she's fast. And so she's athletic. So she can do a lot of different things out there on the court. So it's really fun to see her, Chris, and Maria out there on the court at the same time at, at our guard positions. Um, you know, and then you add in Prima, you add in Abby, you add in Mason at those post spots. And uh, there's definitely some moments in practice that I'm, you know, I'm a little taken back and, and you know, with the wow. You know, we have a lot of new players, obviously, so you don't know if they're going to mesh together like that. So I can't talk enough about how much our team has meshed together and the chemistry that they have out there. And that's all credit to, to them. They're putting a lot of time and effort into that, into making sure that, they are close. They're a close knit family. We do a lot of things together, but they're doing stuff on their own together to make sure we have that. And so um, I think those three guards that you guys have talked about are going to be really fun to watch out on the floor together. It's fun to watch and practice every day. You have this unique experience that seems to have um, been invigorating to you to go out and, and recruit a new team. What's the pitch when you go out there and say, hey, we're going to build something basically from scratch here? Um, was that exciting and was that exciting pitch and was it exciting to hear from from ladies from around the country that you went and said here's how we're going to do things and here's the ingredients we're looking for yeah strangely you know it, it's a um, very unpopular opinion probably it was really exciting and it was fun because I was going after players that had a chip on their shoulder that other people had passed on or that didn't have um, the opportunities that they wanted and, and, you know, people are sleeping on them or hating on them or whatever you want to call it. And I wanted to take a chance on them and they want to take a chance on me. And so we have a very, very, very unique bond, something that I haven't had here quite like this yet. Um, these, these kids just, they want to be here. They want to play for me. I want them here. I want to coach them. Um, you know, I got that same opportunity with a new staff and it's, uh, that was kind of the pitch. Hey, you earn it. The playing time's there. There's no spots that are guaranteed to anybody. And um, if you want to come in and, and fight for it and play with that chip on your shoulder and have that underdog mentality, um, that's that's what we sold. We sold that. And uh, and I was really honest with these kids that I was recruiting um, in, in areas that I've improved as a coach over the past two years and how I've grown as a person and a coach. And so um, I think the honesty, the realness, 
and just the the underdog play with a chip on your shoulder opportunity. And we went out and found people that wanted that. Um, they wanted that challenge. We all knew we were going to get picked 11th. We knew that. We knew that were coming and we love it. We're excited about it. The team's excited about it. The staff's excited about it. That's exactly where we wanted to be picked. So we're, we're um, it's a group of people that all have something to prove together. And so we're just excited to get rolling um, and, and see what we can do. Like I said, I know practice is fun and exciting every day, but it's different when you're going up against other competitions. So we're just looking forward to to being able to play um, games. November 7th obviously our first game, and we're just looking ready, looking forward to get that rolling and ready for that to start. And uh, Mountain West, obviously, you know, you always – it's a tough conference, you know, so let's see what we got. But – I know we have a group of kids that are going to play hard, that love basketball, that want to be here, and that have pride in what they're doing. And so it's uh, it's just fun, like I said, to watch every day. But that was the recruiting pitch and, and like I said, unpopular opinion. But, yeah, it, it was fun. And it was, I felt like, a huge opportunity for me as a head coach to kind of get a redo, a start over, you know, hit the reset button. So I don't think very many people get to do that. So I feel really fortunate to have been able to do that here. It's a great place to play basketball and be supported as a student athlete. Utah State has an unbelievable atmosphere. Uh, it's spectrum. Uh, we've got a uh, question for you coming from Nathan Dunn with the Utah State. Coach, so a lot of the, the programs at Utah State like to recruit, uh, sorry, recruit locally in Utah. Do you only have one one player from Utah? How have you been able to kind of expound on that and get, get recruits from out of Utah? Yeah, we're, we're definitely working on that. But I think, you know, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? I think we got to win more to get the, the kids out of Utah that we want, that we can win with here, because I do think you can build it locally. I think there's a lot of talent in high school and we want to to do that in the state of Utah. Um, we would like to start there. We haven't had a ton of luck with that yet, but um, I think it will get better as we stack more wins together and we put more winning seasons together. I think that that improves. Um, and uh we're getting closer, you know, I can't, I can't talk about the commitments we have, but we got some close states that we've got commitments from. And so we're getting there. I just think we have to, we have to give it a little time, let the program develop more so then we can get those Utah kids that we want that we can win championships with here. That's what we want to do here. So it, we, I knew it was a process when I took the job. Um, John Hartwell was very honest with me about that. It was going to be a process that wasn't going to happen overnight. And I knew that I, I wanted the challenge and we're in a building process right now. And so I think, I think this year is going to be a big step for us, but we want to keep doing it. Um, we want to keep going in the right direction in all facets of our program, not just on the court, but in all facets of our program. And so um, getting Utah kids is going to be a huge part of that. And uh, we've had a lot of them on campus. We're bringing people, on campus a lot showing them what we have like you said it's a great place to play basketball at it's a great opportunity here so um, I think as we stack more wins together I think we'll see more success with the in-state recruiting along with that um, you have a pretty awesome uh, you know non-conference schedule this year including your alma mater USC BYU Utah Valley how just great of an opportunity is it for your team to get that experience against these, you know, very good basketball programs? Yeah, I mean, we Southeastern's obviously a fun game for me because I played there. We beat them at the buzzer at their place last year. It was a very um, exciting slash stressful game for <laughs> for me. Um, but they're coming to us this year, so anytime you get to play your alma mater, obviously, you know, that's that's a fun game, a personal game to you. BYU just got a new coach, you know, um, so that'll be. That'll be a fun game for us, obviously, an in-state rival. You know, USC, that's a big challenge for us. We're looking forward to that, and I think the girls are looking forward to that. And um, we're playing a ton of in-state schools this year. We play Utah Valley. We play Weber. Um, we play Utah Tech. almost messed that up. Um, I'm used to calling them Dixie still. So we, uh, we play a lot of in-state school, and I also think that will help our in-state recruiting as well. If, if we can compete with those teams and, and you know, and show like, hey, this is Utah State. We're, we're here. You know, we're, we're a good in-state um, opportunity for people to go to. I think we can we can build off of that for our in-state recruiting as well. So we're looking forward to those games. I agree. I do think we have a good um, competitive non-conference schedule, but I think you need that to get ready for the Mountain West because it's a dogfight. Every single team in this conference, any night, it could be anybody's game. So I think we need to play those teams um, to get us ready for what we're going to go up against in the Mountain West. Coach, we've got another question for you from Patrick Mayhorn from the Action. Ask about the, you mentioned taking a lot of lessons from your, your first couple of years as a head coach. What was the most important thing that you, you've learned as you as you move forward now? Yeah, honestly, um, I'm 
I'm pretty real and honest, brutally honest. Sometimes it gets me in trouble, but the, the most honest answer I could give you to that is just my growth as a coach um, and, and learning that it's okay to be close with your players and you don't have to put up that wall and um, have that super professional thing going on with your players. There's obviously boundaries and, um, you know, there's boundaries that you need to stick to, obviously, but um, I think just letting my kids know that I love them, that I care about them, having that good relationship with them, like – these kids come in my office all the time. I can't get rid of these guys. They're in there all the time. And um, we're just doing a ton of stuff together that I think is showing them that I care about them and I love them and I'm here for them. I'm going to have their back regardless. And in return, I am getting that back from them. And I think that that was a big step for me to learn going from an assistant coach where you do have those kind of relationships to moving into a head coaching role where the way when I played, your head coach was very distant from the players. And so I think that that was my biggest growth period, just understanding that like, hey, you can be close with these players and it's OK to let them know how you feel about them and that you love them and cut up with them and joke with them. And then when you get on the court, when you are on them or you're pushing them, they know it's coming from a place of love and um, they respond much better on and off the court. And so that's what I meant when I said I got to redo. So these players and you're you're going to get to talk to Chris and, um, you know, but. She could speak on that more probably, but these players are, they know I got them and I know they got me. And that, that goes through a whole staff and through the whole team. Um, it's just, it's a really, it's for me, it's a, it's a really eye-opening experience for me to go from being an assistant coach to a head coach and feeling like I had to put those walls up, but I don't. And I learned that. And so I'm grateful to get to start over and um, get to have that growth as, like I said, a person and a head coach. And I think, um, that's a huge reason why we got a shot to be really good this year is our culture first and um, the talent next and not to take away from anything that these girls bring to the court, but it's our culture that we have every day going right now. That's going to get us wins because um, we care about each other and we love each other on the court and that's going two ways. And they know that. And I know that. So that's been my biggest growth um, to be honest over the past two years, obviously I've learned a lot basketball wise, but if you're asking me to nail down one thing, I would definitely say it's just my maturity as a head coach um, and growing into this spot. It's, it's so awesome to hear you and the excitement that you have for this team. It just shows in the way that you speak about this group. So thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing what you and your Aggies and this, and this new year bring for your team. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you having me. Y'all have a good day. Both head out to Logan, Utah and bring in Christina Oliva guard for the Aggies. I uh, appreciate you making some time for us. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank you for having me. Of course. So, so let's let's dive right in there with, with what Coach Art said about um, how she doesn't feel like she has to reinvent herself as a head coach. She can still be the same person that she was as an assistant that had such great relationships with players, and she can still be a successful head coach in that same way. What have you seen from her uh, as she says things have changed a little bit with her? Um, I can definitely see that things have changed around here. I mean, she's built such a great culture, and everybody on this team is all in. Every coach is all in. And, I mean, we really have something to prove this year, so everything has just been positivity. Went out and built this team her way. Um, and as she, she went to talk to different players, including, I'm assuming, yourself, that there, there are no starting jobs that are, that are already built in. Everyone's going to earn that. Everybody has a chance to prove themselves. How fun is that when you, you all gather for the first practices here leading up to the season that you know that you have a chance to earn what you think you can earn? I mean, it's been pretty fun. Everybody on our team is super competitive, so... I think it's going to be really good once we put all the pieces to the puzzle together. I mean, our culture that we've built off the court has been really helping us, but we have every piece of the puzzle. So once we put that together, I think it's going to be a really good season. If you have a question for Christina, you can go ahead and raise your hand in the, uh, on the Zoom toolbar at the bottom part of your screen. We'll get you in queue and get you called upon. You can ask questions and we'll have time for follow-up as well. Christina, you played your freshman year at Sierra College, had a, a, an incredible year there last year. What what attracted you to the opportunity at Utah State? You know, Jesse alluded to having the opportunity to play right away. What else attracted you to this opportunity in Logan? Um, to be honest, 
Coach K was a coach that believed in me 100%. Um, for a long time, I had a lot of people who didn't believe in me. So to hear that Coach K just really believed in me, she trusted me, and she really wanted me to be a part of this program, I believed in her and I took it, and it's been great ever since I've been here. Refreshing is it to have a coach who is so vulnerable with her players and seems like she she doesn't hold back and she is very vulnerable with you guys? Um, I mean, I'm a very vulnerable individual as well, so I mean, it's been really great because I know what it's like to not have a coach like that. And I mean, I've transferred a few times, so to be able to have someone who I can go to and to talk to, um, it really makes us better on the court because I know that she's got me off the court. I know she's got me on the court. And so it's just been really great. Christina, we've got a question for you coming from Nathan Dunn from the Utah Statesman. Nathan? Christina, appreciate your time. Um, so for Utah State fans, and I guess just Mountain West Conference, you know, media as well, what can you tell them about your game that they may not be familiar with? Um, I mean, I just feel like offense has always been my thing personally, but um, I feel like personally I'm a pretty well-rounded player and I definitely bring that to the team. I mean, offense obviously doesn't just win games. So, um I think it's going to be good once we just put everything together. And I mean, it takes a team to win everything. It doesn't take one person. So putting what I have and then putting what everybody else brings uh, to the floor is what's really going to make it work this year. What are you looking forward to most on the season? Obviously improving and you know, getting better as a team, but just specifically for yourself, what, what do you feel like you can improve on most in this upcoming year? Um. Definitely my maturity. I mean, I have always been working on being a better leader, and I feel like that has happened um, since the day that I got here, and that also comes from my coaches really believing in me. And so it's made me comfortable um, since I kind of stepped foot on campus. So I feel like because I'm comfortable, I'm able to be myself around here rather than somebody who I'm not. Um, so, yeah, leading this team to – win every game. That's kind of my mentality. <laughs> We've got another question for you coming from Patrick Mayhorn and the Ag Ship. Well, I ask because Coach mentioned that you, as the, as the team is sort of uh, glad to be 11th coming into this with the, with the media poll um, and, and has that kind of chip on your, on your shoulder. How have you taken that? What is the team attitude about that sort of, you know, I, out, I guess, coming into the season from, from those without the program? Um, to be honest, I couldn't be more happy that we're placed 11th. I mean, we're a brand new team, so anything that's happened in previous years, we don't really care about because we haven't been here. So um, bringing in 14 new girls, I mean, we have two people from last year, so I'm sure that they got some revenge in them for sure, but I'm just ready to prove people wrong. I know that, you know, a lot of people have um, – talk down on us, talk down on my coach, talk down on our school, whatever it is. But we have new players coming in and we don't care what has been said the past couple years. Everybody is on kind of like our, we're on our toughness mentality right now. Like we're not, we're not backing down from anybody this year. That's for sure. appreciate you taking the time for us today. We're excited to see what you and the Aggies can do this season. Coach R is clearly excited about the talent that she's brought in to Logan. So we're excited to see you guys get after it this season. Thank you. I'm excited too. Thank you for having me.